What is going on you guys? It is Gawa here today and welcome back to yet another YouTube video from yours truly. Today we're going to be looking at the 10th Doctor um, Timey Wimey pre-con and I'll be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on the, the deck in general. Before we get in that video, I just want to say if you're new around here and you enjoy the content, drop a like and subscribe and as well click that uh, link in the bio. That is our Discord link. We got a bunch of people up in there now. And thank you to my uh, one of my wonderful subscribers who told me that the Discord link actually was expired, so now you actually should be able to join it. My dumbass thought it lasted forever, but it does not. Yeah, let's hop into this. This deck has been... This pre-con, I know it like came out yesterday, but I have like five local game stores uh, close to me. And man, none of these had it. They were all sold out of timey-wimey. So me and my uh, me and my buddy both wanted this, so we decided to go to Walmart out of all places, and they actually had a bunch of them, which is crazy to me. This is not the ideal way to open this box. I don't know why I'm opening it like this, but I'm just gonna open it off camera so I can take out all the contents. I wanted to say too while I'm opening this, I appreciate you guys all the support that was on the thing, telling me like you know to do whatever makes me happy and stuff like that when it came to not being able to do um what's the word like these deck techs all the time and stuff like that you guys are really supportive and i really 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 do appreciate it i'm just trying to take all the stuff out here um there's a lot of shit in this one holy shit there's a lot of shit of shit you know uh okay that and that and we got this here all right, so I think that should be everything. I think the collector booster is probably in there. I hope so. So this includes a planner dice, one of these cool little dice. Includes, uh, this is pretty shitty put together, but a Doctor Who with Rose and the 10th on there. You got a Doctor Who spin down. Uh, you got this the pamphlet thing that just kind of describes the shit about the shit, you know? Wow cool just gonna go in my garbage <laughs> all right so let's open these first so i don't know the last time that there's been planar cards if you if you guys I, that's something i was curious about but you guys know leave it in the comments below because i've just been curious let me butcher all these names like i usually do uh we have the lux foundation library we've got lake Sil silicion what oh my god amy's house Human Time Lord Metacrisis, Odd Sphere, Bad Wolf Bay, Two Streams Facility, Prime Minister's Cabinet Room, jeez, New New York, Pompeii, cool, cool, cool. So that's cool. That's 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 pretty. That's pretty cool. The planer thing is a cool just category to use in general. Man, my floor is just covered in in stuff. Uh, let's let's open this Doctor Who Collector Booster Two Card thingy. Um, I'm not sure. What I even want from this set, if I'm being honest, I didn't even look at really much of the cards. Actually, I'd like that dinosaur. There's a dinosaur in here that you they make historics or something. This will be the Discover card, makeover montage. So we have a Barbara Wright, historic teacher, size you troll have read ahead, Doctor's Companion. And we have a flatline. Creatures your opponents control have base power and toughness. Zero one. Actually, that's actually that seems like a pretty good card. What the hell? Alright, so we'll put that to the side. Let's crack this open. Let's crack this bad boy open. I'll give you my thoughts, opinions on all of this jazz. Uh, the timey wimey ability, I think it's why it's so sought after, man. Like that whole thing being able to take um, suspend counters and stuff off of it in turns and like being just getting an infinite mana and stuff and then just burning through time counters just seems insane. Kind of playing some stuff for suspend costs and stuff instead of, you know, the normal shit. And. That's kind of crazy to me, but, you know, I haven't found a way yet to break this deck. I'm sure there's ways to break it, but... So we have the 10th Doctor in the etched foil. Not a fan of these, like, the thicker cardboard cards. I don't know, I because I put everything in top loaders, but, I mean, that's there. We have the 10th Doctor in general. So this is very foily with um, double lighting on it, but... Basically, whenever he attacks, you exile from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card with three time counters on it. If it doesn't have suspend, it gains suspend. 
And then you can time travel three times, activate only as a sorcery to take the uh, time counters off of it. So 10th is pretty, pretty crazy. So we have Rose Tyler too, because she has the thing where you get plus one, plus one for each time counter on it. She does. And whenever she attacks, you put a time counter on, on it for each suspend card you own and each permanent you control with a time counter on it. So that's pretty cool. That's, uh, that's awesome. I, I've been a big fan of the companions lately, like with my Rog and Arden deck, for example. I've just been kind of enjoying that. So we're going to actually zoom in a bit here now and move this down so I can get a better look at stuff. So we'll just take a stack here and we'll go through it. So we have Wilfred Mott. We have Everybody Lives. This is like probably one of the most expensive cards from the set. I think so. As of right now, I think it's sitting at like 25 bucks, maybe. All creatures gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Players gain hexproof until end of turn. Players can't lose life this turn. Players can't lose the game or win the game this turn. That's awesome. Everything comes to dust. We have four knocks. The pand the Pandereka. What did I just say? I'm not even gonna re-say that. That was awkward. The wedding of River Song. Hey, look at this guy. Uh, Adipose Offspring, Estrid Peth, Path, Peth, sorry, Kraken Time, A Girl in the Fireplace, God, get her out of there, Martha Jones, a Nanogene Conversion, that's a really cool art as well, I will say, I, I'm blown away by the arts, like, for this one too, like, Flesh Duplicate, like, they just, they're really cool, man, really, really cool, the 11th Hour, I'm kind of, I'm kind of loving these, um, the whatchamacallit, it's the sagas. Pretty cool. All of history at all of history all at once. We have Donna Noble, Amy Pond, Ecstatic Beauty, the Titanic in Space, yo. We have Coward and Killer. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Parting of the Ways, the Ninth Doctor, Sally Sparrow, Jenny Generated. Rory Williams, the 11th Doctor. I am talking. He's talking, dude. He's, he's, he's talking his shit. The War Doctor. Regenerations Restored. Idris, Soul of Tardis. The Face of Bo. Run for Your Life. The Day of the Doctor. Gallifrey Falls and No More. Dinosaurs on a Spaceship. <laughs> Kate Stewart. Rotating Fireplace. The Moment. We have... Actually, a cool legendary land, uh, Trends, Trendslore Clock Tower, Grasp of Faith, Farewell. That's actually another really good, heavily printed card. It's kind of cool. Everything lives, and that is in here, and also as well as an Out of Time. So that's the stack there. Pretty impressed with the, um, with kind of the selection so far. Obviously, I'm not going to go like super in depth on all of this just because of um the fact that like you know there's no real point just because that's i'll be here forever trying to go through every single card in the pre-con but uh yeah next we have we have wedding ring wedding ring is really funny reprint but that's awesome inspiring refrain and as foretold that's nice fractured identity port town temple of triumph exotic orchard Temple of Enlightenment, Prairie Stream, uh, Irregulated Farmlands, Deserted Beach, Glacial Fortress, Sky Cloud Expense, Temple of em Empathy, Frostboil Snarl, Thespian Stage, dude, as a reprint as well. That's huge. Fury Comp Snarl, War Room, Sunk Baked Canyon, Sundown Pass, Storm Carved Coast, Fiery Islet, uh, Atrax Atraxy Warden. Wibbly wobbly timey wobbly timey wommy time beetle star whale sublime sooth slayer juden enforcers uh, psychic paper tardis there it is sonic screwdriver add one man of any color and you can you know make stuff unblockable that's crazy arcane signet soul ring clock spinning thought vessel mind stone nice Talisman of Creativity, Lightning Groups. Dude, this fucking deck is crazy. Holy shit, mind my language, but that is insane. This deck is nuts. Evolving Wilds, 
Command Tower, Path of Ancestry, Temple of the False Gods, Mired Lambscape, Thriving Bluff, Mystic Monastery, Omnis Cemetery, Rogue's Passage as well? Man. And then we got some of the Plains, Islands, Mountains. Yeah, and then we got the Tokens, the Soldiers. We got a Human Clue. We got Food Tokens, Alien Tokens, some Dinosaurs, some Copies, and How to Play Magic. Man, I am actually low-key kind of blown away with, like, the reprints in this set because they're actually so good. Like, for all the basic, for a lot of the times, like, in pre-cons, you're going to get a lot of basic lands. But in this, you literally have three, what is that, three, six, you have nine basic lands in total. And I think there's 36 lands in this deck. So that's crazy. Like, some of the, some of the good mentions that, like, I have seen just without reading through is like Rogue Passage, you know, you got like your Path of Ancestry or Command Tower, Talisman, Lightning Greaves, Talisman of Creativity, Mind Stone's actually all right, same with Thought Vessel, Solar Ring, Arcane Signet, of course, Sonic Screwdriver is also really awesome. Um, this is pretty cool too, the whole Tardis where you can, he attacks if you control a Time Lord, the next spell you cast, the turn as Cascade, that's crazy. I'm kind of just going through, like, the reprints that we've kind of seen instead of just going through, like, you know, uh, the other things. But, like, for example, Sundown Pass, Sunken Burkano, um, Thespian Stage, damn, Glacial Fortress, Temple of Enlightenment, Alight, Alight, Alightment, Jesus, Exotic Orchard, Temple of Triumph. Like, there's a lot of good cards, as foretold, like... These these alone, just in this one pile that I've went through, is actually kind of crazy, right? Like, this is like some cards that being in a pre-con alone is crazy. I'm just, I just am blown away because I knew this, this deck was good, but like, I didn't know how much heat it packed. Like, Farewell as well, Grasp of Fate, you know, like, I'm sure all of these, like the, the Kate Stewart's and, you know, Dinosaurs on Spaceship, stuff like that is actually really, really good as well. But I haven't had a chance to look into them. So this with this, obviously, I don't want to bore you guys to death and just say, you know, uh, blah, blah, blah. But like, yeah, man, like, this is crazy. Very, very good cards in here. Like, what's another good one? Like, Everyone Lives is a really, really good new card from this set. But yeah, I, damn, I honestly think that as this pre-con is going, just base-wise, I think this pre-con is probably one of the best pre-cons to date, maybe. That might be a bit bold to say, but like, you know, we'll see with the up-and-coming pre-cons that are coming for like uh, Ravnica and stuff like that, and Last Case of Ixalan and stuff like that. But I think it is going to be a really, really banger of a, um, of a pre-con, I mean... With the 10th Doctor and Rose Tyler, you can find ways to really break those two just by getting infinite manners, you know, and then just, like, time traveling through. And then, you know, just every time you have time counters, just move them. Like, you can probably use the Ozolith or some shit, you know, and just put the time counters on there and put it through. And it's just like, damn, you know what I mean? But, like, overall, really good. I'd probably give it out of a 5. I'd probably, I'd probably give it, like, a, I'd probably give it like a 4 out of 5. Honestly, and I feel like there is a hundred percent room for improvement. You know what I mean? Like if you took the time and threw in all the suspend cards and found ways to break the tenth doctor and Rose Tyler. I know there's like the Clara Oswald. I was looking at her as well, the whole thing where, you know, the tenth if you have a doctor ability to activate, you you do it twice. That'd be like a saying with like the Allian Allen's Allian's Y or whatever. It's like when you attack, so you would exile cards and you would do it twice. So you put double the time counters, double the time counters of Rose Tyler, you know what I mean? I think overall, it's a really, really, really solid deck. And I mean, it's good for someone who's getting into magic, but for someone who actually loves Doctor Who as well, you might love this even more. Me personally, I don't know much about Doctor Who, you know, uh, I have only literally probably watched like an episode of it, but you know, <laughs> got to pick it up, you know, because it seems, it seems fire. It's, it's probably going to keep, I'm probably going to keep the 10th Doctor and Rose Tyler, but who knows, I might switch out and make it Ro or the 10th and uh, Clara, but I'm not too sure. 
but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy the video I, this is a really really fun video to make um be sure like i said to hit the discord link down in the bio we're soon going to be running up some irl magic games I'm really excited for it the people in discord are pretty pretty hype about it as well but uh yeah i'm back with the paper magic for a little bit we might go and switch off to you know some other type of game and videos while talking about magic but who knows who knows only the future can tell, and I'm almost done my Bernard Ginger Sculptor deck, so be on the lookout for that one as well. But yeah, uh, that's it. Pretty, pretty, pretty solid deck. And with that being said, y'all, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. And yeah, thanks for all the support lately. That's all I got to say. But as always, guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know, drop a like, drop a sub. And remember, if it ain't Gawa gang, it's no gang. I love y'all. Stay safe, stay blessed, and peace.